Today is, um, according to my clock, it is June the 21st, 2016. It is a Tuesday. It is 7.54 at night. It is a really nice night here. I'm sitting here in the dining room reading The Glory of the Empire, a novel, a history by Jean D. Or Missan, it's translated out of French by Barbara Bray. I'm really enjoying this. I bought this last month. It's a New York Book Reviews book. I uh, started reading it yesterday and really enjoying it. I thought I would do the Friends of the Library used book sale hall. I can't go into a description of all these books. And so what I'm going to do is just show them. First book is by Doroth Dorothy Lessing. Take off the sticker. This is Mara and Dan, an adventure by Dorothy Lessing. I found Stoner by John Williams. I have two other novels by him in my library uh, but this is Stoner John Williams this is also a um, New York Review Books I found uh, I collect William Maxwell I found his Over by the River Other Stories uh, these stories seem to tell themselves with each precisely observed detail or snatch of talk tapped home like a design on tinware. The New York Times. Yeah, I really like uh, William Maxwell. I found uh, a Bruce Chadwin I, d I didn't have in my library. The Viceroy of Yuida. This is a penguin book. Uh, this is Bruce, Bruce Chadman. I found uh, Robert Olin Butler, The Good Scent from a Strange Mountain. These are stories. He was a winner of the 1920, 1993 Pulitzer Prize. I found another million... William Maxwell here. I got to take off the stickers. I like st I've been taking the stickers off. I missed some of them. This is William Maxwell. They came like swallows. This is another William Maxwell, A Folded Leaf. This is a novel by William Max Maxwell, A Folded Leaf. Uh, this is Peter Hogg, the William, the Woman and the Ape. I have another novel of his. I think it's called Straight Lines in our library. The Woman and the Ape. This is a uh, penguin. Penguin can't go wrong with penguin books. Here's another Max William Maxwell, The Old Man at the Railroad Crossing and Other Tales by William Maxwell. Uh, this is a book I got in the mail. I told you about that. This is the 50th anniversary Valley of the Dawes by Jacqueline Suzanne. I mentioned this. This is the first novel I remember when I was reading, like 13, 14 or 15. My mother had it somewhere in the uh, duplex that we lived in. Uh, I found another Jim Harrison. I collect Jim Harrison. This is his novel, The English Major, by Jim Harrison. I collect books on Native Americans. This is In a Barren Land, American Indian Disposition, Dispossession and Survival by Paula Michelle Marks. This is a book I got in the mail today. This is a new book, Brothers of the Quail. Oliver Goldsmith in Grub Street, Norma Clark. This is a new book. It's a biography. I got it for Father's Day from my kids. 
Uh, I found the Rick Rick Moody, the Ice Storm. I really like the the poetry and novels of Rick Rick, Rick Moody. He's one of my favorites. I already had this, but I got it free. Uh, I have a William Trevor, Love and Summer. This is by Paul Hardy, Harling. He wrote, uh, he wrote that very popular um, novel that came out last year, Tinkers. This is his Enon by Paul, Paul Harding. Uh, this is a, this guy is a uh, American West writer. This is one of his first novels. This is Thomas McQuain, The Bushwhacked Piano. This, one, this came out like, um, this came out a long time ago. This came out in 1971. Paul Thrax, The Console's File. This is one of his first novels. I collect Paul Thrax travel books and his his uh, biographies, memoirs, and novels. I started collecting James Elroy, which is crime fiction, the American tabloid. This is Seguru by Merzi Kondai. Uh, I know nothing about this. It looked really interesting. Uh, it was an it, uh, it's a penguin book. Can't go wrong with penguin books. It's another book I never heard of. This Warren, Warren Just, A Dangerous Friend. It was a New York Times notable book. Selected as the best book of the year by Time in Los, Los Angeles Times. This is called Warren Just, A Dangerous Friend. It looked really interesting. Uh, a booktuber last month's start talking about Clive Barker, which is horror, fantasy. I'm not really into it, but I've been collecting him. This is In the Flesh, Tales of Terror by Clive Barker. This is uh, Tricius Tropacius, the complete translation of the classic work by the Dean of Structural Anthropology, Claude Levi Strauss. This is also a penguin book. Uh, looks really interesting. I use that a lot. This is a memoir by this uh, Mexican writer, Francisco Goldman, say her name. This is a memoir. Uh, this is Alec Sherman Axial, Blasphemy, New and select stories. I already had this, but I got it uh, in my five five dollar bag. I couldn't resist. I really recommend his writings. I really enjoy him. This is Stories of Valimar Neg Negatov. Another, uh, this is a Vintage International. You can't go wrong with Vintage International books. This is his stories, the Va Valimar Negatov. This is another New York book review book, The View of Harbor, a novel by Elizabeth Taylor. This is a novel called Damage by Josephine Hart. This is a history book, The Great Upheaval, America and the Birth of the Modern World, 1788 and 1800 by Jay Wink. I have his book, uh, uh, April 1865, I have his historical book. This is his Great Upheaval by J. Wink. Another Clive Barker book, Weave World. This is an Irish writer, Forgotten Waltz, Anna Enright. This is a South African writer that I collect. N Nadine Gohmeyer, None to Accompany. Her novels usually center around apartheid in South Africa. And uh, I have 
several years ago I got into reading a lot of her novels and I found this one. This is a cultural, study, a cultural studies on craftsmen by Richard Sinnott. Uh, I mentioned her, this is Suzanne Velan, The Forest Lover, a novel. Her novels center around art and artists. This is centered on jo um, George O'Keefe, The Forest Lover. Uh, these are two short story collections by w, w. Somerset Maugh, volumes two and three. This is a Japanese writer. I have another novel of his down in our library called Silence by Shiisku Indu. Here's another novel by Susanna Susman who wrote Valley of the Dolls, The Love Machine. This is a little, little novella, The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisunos. 6,000 people had this on library thing. Must be popular. Here's a biography of Simon Simon Wheel by Robert Coles. This is a novel by Oliver Phillips. I have two novels by him down in our library. This is his novel, The Song Is You. He wrote the novel Prague, which I have in our library. And These are the collected stories of Tennessee Williams, introduction by Gord Vidal. This is a novel by David Mitchell, ghost writing, who wrote, who wrote uh, I think he wrote that. This is one of his first novels. But anyway, this is his novel, Ghost Written, a novel by David Mitchell. Uh, these are vintage book of war stories edited by Sebastian Folks. This is a book, The River of the West, sto stories from the Columbia River by Robert Clark. We collect books on the American West. These are stories around the Columbia River. It looks really nice, isn't it? It's brand new. The novel by William Boyd, who I collect and read, have read a lot. This is his novel, Sweet Caress. This is a book of feminist study by Bram Der Ishka, Idols of Perversity, Fantasies of Feminine Evil in Fin de Sick Culture. That was a real find. I was, a, I was really excited to find this book. Here's a book from my Paris collection, Paris in the 50s, by the journalist Stanley Kornop, uh, Kelnow. I collect Isabel Anodine. This is her newest book, The Japanese Lover. This is a novel by Keith Gitson, All the Sad Young Literary Men. Here's another crime fiction by James Elroy, Blood's a Rover. And lastly, essays on art by John Updike, Just Looking. So that's about 50 books. I have some new books that came in the mail, but I'll show those next time. So those are the books I got at the Friends of the Library used book sale. I got all those books for $35. I can go down to a downtown Reader's World bookstore and get two books for $35. I got 50 books for $35. Great literature, great books, great reading, stuff that can keep your mind and your intellect going for at least a couple of years if you really focus on those, those books. And it's great literature. It's not junk. It's, it's high class literature. Can't go wrong with any of those books. So that's what I got, and I've been reading this. I said The Glory of the Empire. I'm really enjoying this. And uh, so that's here in the my book world, and today is, like I said, is a Tuesday. 
I don't know if I'll go to the thrift stores this week since I'm kind of booked out. So, until the next time, have a good night and a good week.